CTGP Revolution is a custom track distribution for Mario Kart Wii that adds 216 tracks to the game. This number never changes, however, CTGP does have track updates to add fresh new tracks to the game. How does this work? Well, new tracks replace existing tracks. That way, old tracks that aren't popular among the community will eventually get removed so more popular tracks can get in. But has any track lasted long enough in popularity to never get removed? Well, yes. Allow me to introduce you to the most controversial track in CTGP, Mushroom Peaks. Mushroom Peaks was the second custom track to ever be released with SNES Rainbow Road being the first. At the time of release, this track was a groundbreaking improvement to custom tracks. You see, there was a reason SNES Rainbow Road was the first custom track ever released. At the time of SNES Rainbow Road, walls could not be put into tracks properly. Mushroom Peaks was the first custom track to actually have walls. It also was the first custom track to have bouncy mushrooms. Mushroom Peaks and SNES Rainbow Road both made it through CTGP all the way to CTGP version 1.03. Unfortunately, SNES Rainbow Road didn't keep up in popularity and was inevitably removed from CTGP. Mushroom Peaks is now the oldest track in CTGP. Mushroom Peaks was originally released in 2010, which is only two years after the release of Mario Kart Wii. It was updated periodically since then and added different elements throughout its time, such as trees and flowers, to make it more decorative. Mushroom Peaks is a very difficult track for your average player. If you've never played this track before, you'll most likely struggle playing it. The track begins with pretty simple gameplay, you go off a ramp, bounce on a couple of mushrooms, then go up a hill. Then you're hit with split paths. The right path is a shortcut, and the left path is the normal route. You have to hit the mushrooms just right or you'll fall off. The next part is pretty simple, just watch out for bean corners. The final section has you going up a wall with a boost panel and then drop down into the final bouncy mushroom. You need to drift into this mushroom in order to gain the most distance. Mushroom Mountain Mushroom Mountain is a remake of Mushroom Peaks by the CT creator Ferv. It improves a lot of gameplay of the original Mushroom Peaks and bumps it up to today's standards. The track also still maintains the feel of Mushroom Peaks and doesn't feel like an entirely new track. Although this track looks and feels good, the track has yet to be accepted in the CTGP. However, you can put it in the My Stuff folder and you can still play it. At this point, you're probably thinking I'm against Mushroom Peaks, right? Well, no, I'm not. This is why. Mushroom Peaks is actually pretty fun once you get the hang of it. It gives the player a challenge that they won't find in any other track. This challenge is very debatable, however. It gives players a lot of rage once they make one long move and it costs their entire race. Well, as a person who used to love Geometry Dash and is used to making one wrong move a bunch of times that could cost their entire progress, I'm used to it. Also the remake of Mushroom Peaks, Mushroom Mountain, just doesn't have the same spark as Mushroom Peaks. Whether you're hoping for Mushroom Peaks to be removed from CTGP or not, Mushroom Peaks isn't going anywhere anytime soon. This is because it is extremely popular. In fact, this is the most played custom track in custom tracks worldwide. Even though a lot of people hate it, if it weren't for the memes about this track, this track wouldn't be as popular as it is. Thank you all for watching, remember to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications, but also tell me in the comments section what you think about Mushroom Peaks.